Customer Appointment Manager from Atlas Business Solutions is an easy, flexible, and effective appointment scheduling solution. When scheduling appointments, you can indicate who they are with, what time they are at, and what services are provided. In this demonstration, we will show you how to set up Customer Appointment Manager and use all of its tools effectively. Customer Appointment Manager is a PC-based application. Each computer the program is installed on requires a user license. For example, if you put it on five computers, you will need a five user license. If you put it on one computer, all you need is a single user license. In a single user environment, the application and database are installed on the same computer. In a multi-user environment, the application is installed on each computer that will be using Customer Appointment Manager, and the database is installed in a central location. This allows users to all be in Customer Appointment Manager at the same time. When a change is made by one user, the other users will see it almost instantly. Here are some possible scenarios. On a peer-to-peer -peer network, the application is installed on each computer. The database would be installed on one of these computers as well and shared with the other users. In a server environment, Customer Appointment Manager is installed on each computer and they all point to the same database which is typically installed on the server. After you've installed Customer Appointment Manager, you're ready to start scheduling. The first step is to create the employees you are scheduling for. You can track general contact information for each employee and also assign a work schedule. The work schedule sets up the hours that this employee will be working from. You can set up several work schedules that start at different dates. I'll set one up that starts in June and call it Summer Hours. So starting on June 1st, this employee will work from 8 to noon on Thursdays and Fridays. This will continue until I set up another work schedule at a later date. Once your employees are created, they will appear at the top of your schedule. In the day view, you can sort them any way you'd like. You can also adjust their column width. Now that your employees are created, you can start scheduling appointments for them. If you already have a list of your customers, you can import them into Customer Appointment Manager. You can either import them from a text file or from QuickBooks. If you import from QuickBooks, QuickBooks does need to be installed on your computer in order to import or synchronize customer records. You can always add edit or delete customer records by going to File, Customer Maintenance. Each customer record holds basic contact information about that customer. The Pro version gives you the added benefit of adding files or images to the customer record. This feature is only in the Pro version. If there's still more information you need to track about your customers, you can create custom fields. To do this, go to File, Custom Fields, and click the Add button to create a new one. You can add custom fields to custom records and appointment forms. Once the custom field is created, you will see it on either the customer or appointment form. Now let's start creating appointments. You can either double click 
or click and drag to open up the appointment detail window. In this window, you can select the customer, edit the start and end time, make it a recurring appointment if needed, set a reminder, edit the appointment status, edit the colors, and add a description. You can also indicate if a service will be provided for this appointment. These can be created and edited from the appointment window or by going to File Service Maintenance. Each service can have a color and a duration associated with it. The duration is a useful feature because you don't have to edit the appointment length each time. You just select the desired services and the appointment will automatically adjust. If you find that you need more statuses, you can create them by going to File, Status Maintenance. Once these statuses are created, they will appear in your status drop-down menu. You can make further adjustments to the program by going to Tools, Company Options. You can also create different user accounts. Each user will have a unique username and password and be assigned one of four different account types. Each user can customize their experience with Customer Appointment Manager by going to Tools, User Options. The settings here will only affect this user profile. Now that you've got appointments in your calendar, you can start using some additional tools. To quickly find available times, Customer Appointment Manager provides you with a tool called Find Open Time. This tool allows you to easily find available times for specific employees, days, and times. If you need to quickly see when a specific appointment is, you don't have to click on each day and scan through your appointments. Instead, you can use the search tool. If a customer can't remember when their next appointment is, you can use this tool to quickly find them. If you only want to see certain employees on your calendar, you can filter them out. You can select employees from certain positions, or just the individuals that you want to see. Another useful scheduling tool is the waiting list. Some customers may want an appointment on a certain day or time. If that time is not available, you can put them on the waiting list. If an appointment time opens up because a customer canceled or moved their appointment, you can quickly find a replacement from the waiting list to fill that hole. This concludes part one of the Customer Appointment Manager demonstration.